Hello, 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 guys. This is the poor tree of Donggongon alongside the Parit Juta, which was initially designed just to drain the Donggongon town. But now the DID has decided to enlarge this drain. Enlarge this drain to become part of the flood mitigation of Mayong. So part of the water from Kibabaig actually will have to go through the Nungungun. That's why it was flooded, the Nungungun gets flooded last time because this drain now, Parichuta, is estimated to be only half the capacity. As you can see, there is a, a tractor there already enlarging the drain to more than double the size, more than double the width to cater for the floods that is drained through the council area passing through the Gongon, then to Konundungan down to the sea. So it's, the flood water is going through this way. But there seems to be ample space there. Why do they have to cut the tree? Only this tree is the one keeping the Gongon uh, uh, cool from the intense heat. Now it's El Nino and all the tree there, those are remaining, those tree there are soon to be cut. Those are already chopped, the branches, and those tree they will also be chopped down. Those green trees that is providing coolness and shade to the town is going to be chopped. And it will be years before they can replant new trees to replace them. Okay, on both sides of this drain. And in town itself, there's hardly much tree left. And it's dry season now. And even this tree there, those remaining one, and they are dying from the heat. You see the leaves are becoming yellow. So the council, there's not enough water for humans, so the council don't have water to even spray them once a month. And they're expected to be a six month drought coming now so what's going to happen oh this one is dead naturally no water that one died so don't go on guys gonna be a very hell of a hot town in the next few days there's hardly any rain really dry from the el nino now it's february 28th okay guys so much for the planning in this damn country of Malusia. Okay. This is the drain enlargement works currently ongoing. One bulldozer using a platform to cross, a special platform to cross the drain to the other side. Uh, look at this. And it's probably the reason why we don't have water. They have to relay, obviously, water supply pipeline, okay? That's the water supply pipeline which they have to relay because... Ah, uh, here's one. They have to relay this pipe because they're going to have to dig some pipes. Uh -huh. Because the drain is going to be enlarged. This is what happened, as I've been telling this government. You build drain first. Only. Other infrastructure. But you build road first. You lay down water pipe. Then only then you go and enlarge the drain. That's how Malaysian planning works is done. And of course, you spend lots and lots of taxpayers' money doing this. And of course, the 10% is going to be great. And with a sub, 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 sub contractor going in this country, you spend billions just for simple project like enlarging, uh, enlarging uh, drainage canal, drainage uh, channel. And all the trees here are already gone. Who can it? All the dead trees, all the trees are here. All the trees that was here were all removed. No wonder they are cutting the tree because to make way for the machinery. So when are they going to replant the tree? 
They have forgotten Mahathir's order about the Rio de Janeiro uh, environment. Environment uh, ethic was every time you chop one tree, you're supposed to go and plant another two. So where are you going to plant these trees, people? Sabah Maju Jaya, where are you going to replant the trees? Oh my God. This is what happened when you build roads first, huh? you build a town, then you build a drain. Stupid.